1. For a change, it was the offense that struggled for Miami this 18-14 loss. 2. Touchdowns. That's not enough. And coupled with the fact it scored 3 points at Notre Dame, the pendulum swings to more question on that side of the ball. It didn't help that starting quarterback Stephen Morris went out with an ankle injury with Miami driving in the fourth quarter. And Miami moved the ball decently. But 14 points just aren't going to be enough to win a lot of games. To dot there is now less time between football plays than baseball pitches. With thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Both North Carolina and Miami running no huddle Saturday. It was non-stop action. North Carolina ran a staggering 47 plays in the first half. It had 67 through the third quarter nearly its average of 73.3 plays slash game. 3. North Carolina running back Giovanni Bernard, the St. Thomas Aquinas product, played as advertised. He had the three R's down, running, receiving, returning. He entered the game averaging 9.1 yards a carry. He wasn't keeping that crazy number. But late in the game he had 27 rushes for 176 yards 6.5 average to go with 4 catches thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. For 34 yards and a 26 yard punt return. For dot how young is Miami? 16 true freshmen have played this year, and 21 freshmen overall red shirts from last year. Two true freshmen, Robert Lockhart Jr. and Ricardo Williams, played Saturday. All Golden says the youth isn't an excuse, because what else can he say? He doesn't want his players to have that crutch. But let's face it. Everyone knew they were young and it's playing out that way. 5. Here's the backstory on North Carolina's two-point conversion that put a wedge in the scoreboard. On the thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. First day of its spring practice. New North Carolina coach Larry Fidor puts in this funky split in the alignments for extra points. The line went wide to the right. Two receivers went wide to the left. The center, holder and kicker were the only ones in normal formation. This isn't exactly new stuff. But the idea is if the defense doesn't react then a two-point conversion can be run. North Carolina ran it three times before Saturday's game. Each time the defense reacted properly just as Miami did on it after the first North Carolina touchdown. But after the thank you for trying verbose, this recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Second touchdown, Miami only had one cornerback covering the two receivers. North Carolina immediately saw that, holder Tommy Hibbert the punter threw the pass to the open receiver, tight end Eric Ebron. And that was that.